Hello everyone, welcome back to Drama Fan. It turns out that Chowol came to the palace carrying Prince Muan's child. This really surprised the queen. The queen will bring the baby to the palace because Chowol asked Prince Muan to take responsibility for the baby. So the queen will ask Prince Muan to meet her. Prince Muan told the queen that he will take care of the baby himself. He thought it was easy to take care of the baby but the truth was different from his expectations. Later on, he will be helped by the queen and he will learn a lesson from his experience. There was a misunderstanding between the crown prince and the crown princess. The crown prince Songnam thinks that the crown princess Chongha is on the queen dowager's side. That's why he left her and he seems cold towards the crown princess Chongha when they greet the queen dowager in the morning. The queen dowager would address the rumors about them because it worried her. In my opinion, the queen dowager asked that because she wanted to check if the crown princess is on her side or the queen's side. Since she has seen Chongha smile while looking at the queen in the selection of the crown princess. While the crown prince Songnam doesn't seem to be able to believe in the crown princess Chongha, the crown prince Songnam will keep himself busy with the study. While reading, he found a piece of paper in the book. It seems the paper is kept in the book that his brother read before, which meant his brother had also investigated his own illness. The crown prince Songnam will tell this to the queen. Based on the paper, it seems physician Kwon did not only treat Paul Hogwall on his brother, but there is also another thing. In my opinion, while talking about his brother, the queen will ask about the rumors to the crown prince Songnam so she would be able to clear the misunderstandings between them. To find out more about the fact, physician Kwon will be returning to the palace after the queen invites him back to the palace. The queen orders him to return to the palace in order to invite physician Kwon to find out how and why the late crown prince had to die. The queen already knew that physician Kwon knew everything about the death of the late crown prince, but she had to make him into her side. That's why she purposely asked physician Kwon to work together with her. However, physician Kwon came to the palace to help Prince Wisong to sit on the throne. In my opinion, Master Toji didn't know that Hamsok died because physician Kwon killed him. Physician Kwon will keep postponing their plan to revolt the king until his son, Prince Wisong, sits on the throne. He did this for his family. The Queen Dowager will meet up with Consort Huang. After knowing Prince Wisong is not the king's son, she will despise Consort Huang and Prince Wisong. She will also threaten Consort Huang. That's why she said, It seems like I have found something I shouldn't have. Consort Huang will beg the Queen Dowager to hide the truth and she will use her power to take down the crown prince and the queen. Also, make the queen's power become the Queen Dowager's power. Since Consort Huang still has her father's power, which makes her still useful for the Queen Dowager, so she will only keep using her without making Prince Wisong sit on the throne. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.